in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you Her graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed I'm going to pray, but I'm seeing something I have to respond to. The Lord just opened my eyes and I just saw a serpent, like a snake. Every orchestration of satanic marine spirits over any destiny here. I'm going to begin to pray. Maybe these people can clear the way because I'll ask you to bring those people out right now. I stretch my hands. Let fire every spirit based on this vision the Lord has shown me. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, orchestrations of marine spirits, let the fire of God descend upon them now. 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 Hallelujah. We'll sit down shortly, but I want to pray. I want you to bring those people out right now as I pray. Activities of strange familiar spirits. You see, a serpent is not just a reptile. It's a reptile biologically, but it represents a mysterious orchestration of darkness in the spirit. Are we together now? That was the symbol of Egypt, the serpent. The symbol of bondage, the serpent. The symbol of deception, the serpent. The symbol of strange, mysterious occurrences. I'm praying right now. The power of God is going to come on a few people. People and families that may not even know that is the spirit behind the calamities and the tragedies of your family. Are you ready to shout Jesus? At the shout of that name, anyone who is a victim of this influence, it has damaged your life, your destiny, your family, it must give way now. Whether you are an usher or not, help me bring those under the anointing out. At the count of three, you shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cost those spirits represented in the operation of the serpent be delivered now. I cost those spirit influences over lives, over destinies, over lives, over destinies. Bring them out. Over lives and over destinies. Every covenant represented through the orchestration of a serpent that has tied your life, has tied your family. Hear me, in the name of Jesus, at this miracle service, I declare that that covenant is broken. Broken, 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 broken. Broken, broken, broken in the name of Jesus. See, let me tell you the truth watch this 
one of the assignments of the miracle service is not just to solve problems but to also diagnose it you may be a victim of many things you do not even know the cause that's why god sent you here are we together i'm still praying that prayer again families that are victims of these serpentine operations making good things to run away from you making helpers to run away from you i'm still praying because that fire is still falling anyone any family under the influence of my voice that has been the victim of this operation you're going to shout that name jesus again at the count of three father thank you because there must be deliverance for your people are you ready one two three shout jesus destruction of evil satanic marine operations hallelujah I'm seeing the face of a gentleman. I've seen this many times in my visions where you are looking at an individual but in the realm of the spirit you are not seeing a face. You will just see from the neck downwards because you see the face of a man captures a lot of details. Identity is known by the face. When you snap passport, you don't snap um, your legs downwards. It is your face that is your means of identification. And when that is missing in the spirit, you can be in a place and yet you are never seen, you are never known. The glory, the hair is on a man's face. So when God shows me this, it's because someone's glory has been buried and God wants to release that person from it. I'm praying for you. Any gentleman, any lady, whatever has buried your glory, don't come here and waste your time tonight. We are not playing games. In the name that is above all names, right now I pray for you. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a pakatosh kete pakata. Rekete pakaparako peskiata. Let there be a restoration. A restoration of your glory. A restoration of your dignity. In the name of Jesus. For all those who are in front here, I decree and declare. It is for you or for your family members. Every foul, unclean spirit spying upon the liberty that should be in your life, I decree and declare, by the blood, be delivered now. And I speak to those spirits, leave and never return. Leave and never return. Leave and never return every legal access they have over your life and the life of these ones by the blood that access is broken be delivered now be delivered forever in the name of jesus christ when the glory comes oh When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, sing it one more time, and then I'll begin ministering by the Spirit. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. I've seen many miracles in my life many I have seen the power of God move in spectacular dimensions you will think haven't experienced the power of God for all these years I should be used to his power 
I also watch with shock and wonder many times as he moves in the midst of his people like he will be doing now. There is no getting familiar with his power. It is amazing. Regardless how you see it and in what variety you see, it still comes fresh. It still compels praise from your heart to your maker. And so for every healing that will happen here right now, for every deliverance that will happen here right now, for every rewriting of our destinies that will happen right now, for every impartation of grace, for every door that will be opened, for every spiritual connection that will happen by prophecy, I want you to have it at the back of your mind that he does this because he loves us. He does this because he's mighty. He does this that all men will fear him and that the nations will know that there is a God who rules over the affairs of men. Rise up and let's pray. Just one simple prayer I'm going to ask you to pray and then I'll begin to minister to you by the Spirit. There's such a glory in this place and words are going to come targeted at your life and your destiny. I'm praying for you that you have the heart to receive. Please don't waste your time. Men are made upon the strength of the prophetic words that come upon their life. Young, old, rich, otherwise, educated, otherwise, enlightened, otherwise. Let your heart be open. Because when he comes, he comes to his people. He comes in his glory. He comes in his power. A dear sister's life is about to change. A dear brother's life is about to change. Someone who came in like Gideon is about to leave a warrior. Someone who came plagued with all kinds of sicknesses and infirmity. Here's what I want you to do for me. Be positioned to believe God and receive. But I want you to also know that you have a role to play in the life and the receiving of your neighbor too. Sometimes you may need to help them to stand in faith as they believe. Sometimes you will need to encourage them and help drive unbelief out of their lives. But by all godly means, let tonight be your miracle service. The God of all grace, the one who is ready to step in and to intervene over your life is in this place. One prayer, mention the area where you want God to visit you. And please turn it into prayer. Go ahead and begin to pray. Mention that area and begin to pray. Let it breathe from your heart. Don't be silent. The lifter is in this place. Lord. You're holy, Lord, you're holy, and we lift you up and magnify your name. Lord, you're holy, Lord, you're holy, and we lift you up and magnify your name. Please make sure you pray. Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're holy. And we lift you up and magnify your name. Lord, you're holy. Lord, you're holy. And we lift you up and magnify my time for lifting is come my time for rising is come someone pray my time for a testimony has come ah. my time to encounter grace has come
King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me start tonight by praying for the sick. Now listen to me. Do you know why we pray for the sick? Please listen. Praying for the sick is your commitment by God to see that people enjoy the fullness of their days. Every manifestation of sickness especially when it becomes supposedly incurable is a measure of death over your destiny because i have told you that there is a health requirement for your spirit to remain in your body your body is a host to your spirit but it is not a host under every condition there is a threshold health condition that your body must have and maintain for your spirit to be comfortable living within it and when your body deteriorates beyond a certain health threshold it's a law that has been fixed already your spirit will have to discharge itself from your body whether it is your time or not so satan has several strategies to cut short your life the most effective aside from instant death is administering sickness so that it begins to kill you. The goal is to deteriorate your health. In medicine, we call it your immunity level. That is a medical terminology. But in the realm of the spirit, it is a certain health requirement. It keeps going down, 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 beyond the threshold. And your spirit will have to leave, whether you are ready or not. So he says, a body has thou prepared. The body did not just appear. The body was prepared. Are we together now? Yeah. So when we pray for people and administer the power of God, when they come here testifying, there is no testimony that is trivial. There is no testimony that is small. No. From the headache to someone throwing a crutch to someone's eye opening, someone's deaf ear opening, every miracle is deserving of honor i'm saying this as a disclaimer so that we do not get used to the manifestation of the power of god is one of the mistakes that ministries like this usually have we get so used to spectacular manifestations of the power of god that we do not think it's not worth celebrating what is there okay you can walk now save johnny no no one of the ways you secure the presence of god is to acknowledge everything he does are we together let's pray you are sick in your body will start from there i want to deal with many issues now but i want us to start with the issue of ill health and thankfully there are many hospitals many hospitals that air these miracle services across to their patients i will always say may god bless the matrons the cmds and all who allow us to bring the healing power of Jesus to these hospitals, it is the least we can do as a commitment. I want to pray now. If you are sick in your body, I want you to lay your hands by faith, believing. Lay your hands where you are trusting God. If it's your head, lay your hands there. Your legs, lay your hands there. Your stomach, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. If you are standing for someone, I see people lifting photos of people perhaps they are even connecting live I know there are many across the globe tens of thousands of people connected right now God is not a magician he works real miracles 
provable by medicine and science and you're about to witness his power again in the midst of people you came here having an eye condition an ear condition doesn't matter what it is high blood pressure anything that was told you in the hospital that this thing is death happening to you I want you to believe God we're going to pray now I will search for you and I will find you I will find you with all my heart I will lift my hands to you in worship and I will worship with all my heart I have searched for you and I have found you I have found you with all my heart Yes, I have searched for you and I have found you. I have found you. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have given us the grace to extend your power and your grace to your people and to the nations. Your people are here gathered in their thousands to receive from you the healer, the lifter, the one who brings health and cure. He says, heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved. As I pray for your people, I pray that you honor your word. Now here's what we're going to do. I'm going to begin to rebuke those spirits. And as I minister the power of God, that anointing will surge through your body, correcting everything at all. And the moment that happens, I'm going to give you an opportunity while I minister to other cases. I'll give you an opportunity to check yourself whether you're in here, all the overflows and outside, and even those connected online. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened for you, I'm going to ask you to please make your way to the front, and I'll request that you do that very quickly. You need to go to the medical stand um, to check yourself, to verify. We only announce miracles that have been verified. Are we together now? And so I'm going to pray for you. Once that has happened, I'd like you to summon the courage. And if someone has received a miracle close to you, sometimes people just have their phobia. Encourage them so that they come and stand here, whether by my left or right. We have medical doctors who will check you. We'll have a few testimonies as I minister. For those of you who receive from across the globe, go ahead and send in your testimonies. There are lines that are available and would receive your testimonies like you heard during the testimony time. Let's give honor to Jesus. And then I speak over several areas of your life. And if you are here, you are not sick. You can stand in for someone and then be attentive to when I come to deal with an issue that relates to you. It will be a very quick one and we trust that Jesus will be glorified. Can I pray now? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands across the length, the breadth of this auditorium, across the airwaves by faith. I pray over people who have been plagued with all kinds of diseases, sicknesses and infirmity in the name that is above all names. The spirit behind this infirmity, behind the blood conditions, behind the headaches, the migraines, the bone problems, the organ failures, I speak to you in the name of Jesus, leave those bodies now. My God, I sense such an anointing. Leave those bodies now. Leave those bodies now. Leave those bodies now. I'm still praying. condition in the name of Jesus anyone here suffering from any blood related case be healed now be healed now every respiratory problem be healed now 
in the name of the Lord Jesus every organ that is failing or has failed in your body let it jack back to life now ulcers be healed ulcers be healed high blood pressure goes down now low blood pressure is healed now lumbar spondylosis be healed now fractures dislocations of all sorts be mended and corrected now those who came here unable to walk receive strength to your limbs now blind eyes and every sight related issue be healed now those who could not see begin to see those who could not hear begin to hear heart palpitations be healed now neck problems the Lord is healing a neck problem be healed now frequent urination frequent urination there is an elderly man you have this thing and it looks like it's a trace of prostate in the name of Jesus be healed now every growth around your body lumps all kinds of growths and swellings they dissolve and die now brain tumors be healed now dental issues be corrected now there's someone you have a problem smelling in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle for you now someone you have a very tingly feeling at the back of your feet it looks like they are piercing you with pins in the name of Jesus let that be corrected now severe pain at the side just at, at your you know the side the chest region in the name of Jesus the upper chest region be healed now digestive problems be healed now respiratory problems be healed now reproductive problems be healed now there's someone you're not able to go to the toilet to ease yourself I don't know what the name of that condition is unaided in the name of Jesus I don't know who that person is but I cause that demonic condition now if there is anyone here whether you or your loved ones any part of your body is decaying as a result of ulcers or diabetes in the name of Jesus Christ let life surge to that body now is someone receiving let life surge to that body now every damaged tissue damaged organ damaged whatever it is around your body may my God give you brand new organs now the power of God is moving everywhere and I want to to receive by faith receive by faith it's like you are swallowing a drug the drug knows what to do in your body there are all kinds of corrections happening shoulder pain be healed now pain around the arm be healed now seizures and all kinds of epileptic symptoms be healed now there's someone you can't sit down um, your lower back the moment you sit down someone has to help you stand up because it's like you have some problem I don't know what it is but the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus now whether I mentioned your case or not for everyone who is or just help those under their under the anointing I decree and declare right now let healing come for you perfection come for you across the airwaves be healed here on ground and on sites be healed 
Connecting from various hospitals be healed. Connecting from various regions of the world be healed. In the name of Jesus. Here's what I want you to do for me. I want you right now as an act of faith. I sense so much happening to people already. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened, if it's a condition and a situation you need to reach to the medical stand to verify, please be at liberty. Just let the protocol know that you are going to verify. If it's a blood pressure, they can check it. They have all the tools and all the gadgets. I want you to take a moment to check yourself. And if you are in this place and you find out that a miracle has happened for you, while we begin to clap for you, because I want to also be attending to other issues, I want you unashamedly, I've taught you on giving glory to Jesus. I want you to check yourself, leave your seat, whether it is to my right or to my left. We're going to give you an opportunity to testify. We'll do this very fast because I need to attend to other issues. Let's begin to celebrate them. Check yourself. Those in the overflow outside those in the overflow down to the basement online are you celebrating miracles right now so the moment the power of God touched you bend over if you could not bend try to walk stand up if you are sitting on a wheelchair a crutch lift the crutch and try to walk check yourself the pain if you don't find any pain please make your way to the front let's celebrate them as they come hallelujah now to conserve time, I'm, I'm, I have other issues to deal with while they come out. Now if you are here and you have suffered any career failure, I want to pray for you now. Now is your turn. Something is about to rest on you. Those for healing, please keep making your way forward. But I'm ministering now to those who have been stagnated. No door is opening for you career-wise. Either no job or no breakthrough career-wise. Your certificate looks like a piece of paper. It's time for something to happen to you. Father, I'm praying right now. Let the fire that will fan their careers back to life. In the name of Jesus, let that fire rest upon you now. Let that fire rest upon you now. There is a lady, maybe you may need to go outside. You are going to cough out something. Something literally is going to come out of you. When that happens, you will see that a mighty miracle has happened. You can come and testify when you check yourself. I just saw this in my vision. In the name of Jesus, something physical will come out. And once that happens, that is the end of that infirmity. Because it's a satanic and demonic infirmity. All those with no jobs, let me speak to you if you believe that in the name of Jesus by May Miracle Service, may God shake Abuja, shake Lagos, shake Calabar, shake London, shake the US and put you in a place of honor in the name of Jesus. Put you in a place of honor in the name of Jesus. Put you in a place of honor in the name of Jesus. Put you in a place of honor in the name of Jesus. Believe what you are receiving. You are receiving from God. Career failure. You suffered and went to school but there is no evidence around it. You can't rise. You are just roaming around as if you are somebody who is unenlightened. I pray for you again. Where your hands cannot reach, I extend your hand there by prophecy. Where your hands cannot reach, I extend your hands by prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two more prayers and then we'll prepare for the testimonies. I sense in my heart to release the grace for structural establishment. Do you know what that means? That God brings you to your own place, Rehoboth. This is the kind of prayer that makes tenants to become landlords. This is the kind of prayer that makes people with empty hands to become full. There is a grace 
after you have suffered for a while that may God establish you settle you can I pray that prayer for you in the name of Jesus everyone here under the sound of my voice everything in your life is rented rented from pillar to post I pray for you you dig a well and Philistines come to cover it you dig wells and they come to cover it may God give you your own place may God give you your own space I say it again may my God give you your own place may my God give you your own space one more time may God give you your own place may my God give you your own space hear me when it was time for Jacob to go Laban held him back and said if I let this man go I will lose because he used divination to find out that it was on account of Jacob's presence that increase came there are many of you who desire to go but there are people in your company and around your life who have found out that you are the profit factor in that organization they will not reward you yet they will not let you go I pray for you in the name of Jesus everyone in the spirit of Laban holding you down and multiplying years to your pain be released to your place of destiny 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 the Lord gave us a prophetic word that for us as a global family that this is our year of exceeding great rewards I'm sure you are already seeing the wonder working manifestations of this word do you know what that means people who have been long forgotten I read that scripture for you at the start of the year where men have deserted you and forsaken you and where you have not seen the profit in serving God this is the year God is coming to sort people one by one we are just in April let me tell you the truth God is still in the business of doing a quick walk is it in your Bible that the Word of God is quick quick in every sense of the word therefore I pray for you every reward that has been hijacked by satanic demonic powers so that it should have entered your hand but it has been delayed by all kinds of orchestrations of witchcraft by prophecy may it enter your hand by prophecy may it enter your hand in the name of Jesus Christ Come and manifest your power today, oh, today. Come and manifest your power today, oh, today. Oh, God of signs and wonders, Savior, we deeper. Come and manifest your power today, oh, today. Oh, God of signs oh, God and, and wonders, Savior, we Let me tell you the truth when it has to do with rewards you have to insist on your portion the devil will not let it happen just because it is your time you have to take your place by faith and insist that this is my season God has spoken and I believe him hallelujah one more prayer and then you'll be seated for a while my God are you seeing what God is doing in this place? <laughs> Hallelujah. I prayed a prayer, I think, week before last. 
and last week and one of the days while I was praying I could just sense the glory of God and it was as though God was saying well done pray that prayer again I will tell you what the prayer is that prayer of relocating you relocating your audience you remember that prayer I'm saying it because I'm going to pray it again so if this is the man that God has destined to bless you and you go and you are preaching to this man he can he may even trivialize you you know why because this is not the man who was sent to reward what you carry listen it's not enough to be gifted you must pray that the people ordained to celebrate honor and reward your gift that they are the ones who are positioned before you now you don't have the power to gather those who need you it is God that creates that connection yours is to walk with the spirit to find your gifts there are many preachers here there are many businessmen here there are many captains of industry here your problem is not lack of being gifted is that all the people you are serving don't have a recognition of your value and let me tell you it is an ugly thing to be in the sight of people who don't know your worth they will trivialize you even if you are Joseph Joseph had the power to offer solution to Egypt but nobody gave him a chance he interpreted the dream of the wine presser great talent great gift but they did not have the power to lift him he interpreted the dream of the wine presser no nobody to reward him but when the king had a dream same gift same man no addition he was lifted immediately are we together now with all due respect and I say this not to brag I've received several text messages from people here saying apostle God gave me a song I tried to get this song to the nations but it did not go but one day God just made you to sing that song once here yeah. and the moment you sang that song once I could not recover again my ministry opened up because people went around looking who sang this song that apostle sang God can use one man are you hearing what I'm saying now I'm saying if we as humans and as frail as we are can command that kind of effect over the destinies of men I'm careful the things I say and do I've given examples with people I will not mention a business. I gave a, one example with that business. One example with that business. And the person sent me the first fruit of that business. I couldn't believe it. If I didn't know the person, I would have said it's an armed robber. It happened in two weeks. People just said, Apostle said this. You see, this thing called influence is like a charm. One pronunciation. That is why when God gives you influence, you don't abuse it. Are we together? Someone sent me a text one day and said, sing my song now. I said, I, I don't even know who you are. I don't know, who, what are you saying? I just sing your song. You think I just do it mechanically? Keep laboring in the secret. Don't say Goliath, come now, let me kill you. Mm -hmm. You just kill the bear. Huh? I'm teaching you how to do it. So don't send me anything to sing your song. Kill the bear kill the lion remain in the wilderness one day you will not know that's the day you will kill Goliath if you kill Goliath in secret nobody will clap for you God knows how to make you kill Goliath in the open and you will do it when you are prepared are we together yes so I don't do that again I just stood though and it was something about the person's business i just held the thing that was it that whatever it is like a you know whatever the person is producing i i, I said i will not do that kind of thing again if not you create trouble because ministry you are a father to everybody under you so if you now make somebody's business and another person say okay well, you did it for this hold my own too i'm selling banana hold the banana on your hand and say eat this special banana and you know let me tell you something with people once people believe you bar if you say eat that banana they will insult you but they will eat it 
That one I can tell you. Human beings for you. So God will judge you if you take advantage of people and if you abuse influence. Influence is a trust. It should not be abused. But where it is good to, where it is necessary to be used for the sake of the kingdom, you can bring it out. Are we together now? Yeah. So I want to pray for you. Because many of you here, the reason why you came for Koinonia tonight, some of you are business people. And truly, the government needs your gift. Other people need your gift. Institutions, transcontinentally, they need what you carry. But you see, the issue here is that because of the sentiments that plague the world of men, are we together now? Except God intervenes, nobody will give you what is your own. Somebody can even collect your thing in your presence. You are seeing it. And there's nothing you can do. There are great preachers today. There is an audience that if you preach to and they discern what God has placed on your heart, I tell you from a ministerial standpoint, you will never be in certain positions again because you have paid your price under God. What you need is that prophetic push. If Joseph remained there, he would have died in that prison even though he had the solution. I want to pray for you. This is a grace that I've seen. I've enjoyed it. I know what it can do. When God repositions the right audience. And if you are following online, please make sure you open up your hand, your spirit to receive. Great businesses, great doctors, great nurses, great engineers, great architects. But they are just sitting in the midst of dust. Because the person... And you see, it's a dangerous thing if the person hates you is the one who will mark you. The person who hates you is the one who will mark your script. You already get zero before the exam. So God himself will relocate you. And someone will say, I've been praying for you. It's just that I didn't know you are the one I've been praying for. I stretch my hands again, Koinonia. In the name that is above all names, I call upon the lifter, the helper, the blesser, the one who exalts men. In the name of Jesus, every wrong audience you have been wasting your time, your energy, your productivity at by the message of God and by prophecy, I relocate you to the right ones. The right business audience. The right ministerial audience. In the name of Jesus Christ, every gift you carry, that has not been rewarded. Every gift you carry that is being downplayed, demeaned by people who do not know your value. I'm praying for you again. May God bring people who know your worth, bring people who know your value and connect you to them by faith. Do you believe this prayer? One day someone will come close to you, maybe in a restaurant, and you hear the person saying, I just came from America, and we're looking for who to partner with. We need an honest engineer, and this is just you eating. You will remember the prayer I just prayed now. Because you will reach out to the man and say, sorry, I heard you say you need a construction engineer. I said, yes. We have a project of 50 million US dollars, and we're looking for someone who is of honest report. And you say, well, I'm available. He says, I don't know why I just trust you. And that becomes it. I know you have tasted of the power of God. You have seen the anointing of the spirit. I know that you have seen success in life, in business, in career, perhaps in ministry. But the first message tonight is, do you have the hunger enough? Do you have the courage enough? Do you have the discernment enough to love your tomorrow more than your today? Can you look away from great things? Can you look away from the applauds and the successes and focus on what God intends to do now? After this, I looked. You've been at the United Kingdom for years and in all fairness to you, God has been faithful. Good house, good children, great news. This message is for you. After this, can you look? Can you still look that there is a purpose beyond having a house and having an MSc or a PhD? 
What did God tell you before he sent you? It was not an academic issue. Academic was just a vehicle. Now you are done, you are successful, you are walking. But after this, he says, I looked. Please give me a volume. Hallelujah. In Philippians chapter 3 from verse 13 and 14. Help me again media. Philippians 3. Let's work together. 13 and 14. Philippians chapter 3. 13 and 14. Paul made a very profound statement that I want us to pay attention to. Let me show you a man who has mastered the art of defeating the successes of the current level and striving for higher realms. He says, brethren, I count myself to not have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. He never said forgetting the failures. No, no. Failures are not the only thing you are supposed to forget. There are many good things that can keep you in your yesterday and you may never experience the other sides of God. It says forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth to the things which are before. Verse 14. I like the first two words. It says I press. It's an act of my will. I press. Motivated or otherwise, I press. It says I press towards the mark. No, this cannot be the greatest of the prophetic. This cannot be the greatest of the apostolic. Thank God for yesterday. This cannot be the greatest of koinonia. This cannot be the greatest of my finances, my business. I press. Brethren, I count myself. You may count me a great man of God. You may count me a great businessman. But I count myself. It's not condemnation. It's the passion to continue. The passion to remain grateful for what you count me as but I count myself to not have apprehended but this one thing I may not know how to do other things but there is one thing I've mastered the art of defeating my successes of yesterday failure can kill as much as success failure can limit as much as success this one thing I do forgetting the things that are behind This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. I want to show you what kills champions. I want to show you why people do not remain. I want to show you why people are warriors and giants and champions today and they fall like a pack of cards. They have not mastered this thing Paul mastered. I do not count myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, I press, I press. I press, I press towards. Successful yesterday, but I still press. Successful today, but I still press. Please sit down. Please sit down. We're still discussing verse 1. Come up hither. So the Bible tells us, do you know Every major version, Amplified, New International Version, New King James, they did not change this statement. All of them start by saying, after this. Regardless of the translations, the Spirit of God saw the need to preserve those two words. When I began to study this, I stayed in these two words for more than one week. After this. <laughs> The more successful you are, the longer you will stay on that scripture. Because your these are many. They represent crowns. They represent accomplishments. They represent achievements. After this. That means the preceding expressions will not profit you till you meditate on this after this. More love. More power. More of you in my life. Listen, there is a reason why many people never do so much with God. There is a reason why many people rise to a level, whether in ministry or in business 
or in career and then they plateau only to speak about the miracles and the mighty things of yesterday I want to hand to you this morning a secret a powerful secret are we together now it takes focus it takes hunger it takes passion to still be doing well to still be making progress to still be receiving the uploads and the louder the upload comes the more you do not let it distract you he says after this I looked some of you were looking well your gaze was intact until men began to clap their applause became louder than his voice it so distracted you right now you do not even know your true north where that bearing is again after this after the one million came after I moved to UK for some I stopped looking I looked before getting the visa because that it made me fast it made me pray I mean I had a, something driving me but after this I looked the Bible tells us that the door was opened and the voice came it did not come just as a gift it came as a reward because God was watching chapter 1 watching chapter 2 watching chapter 3 watching you mean in spite of the fact that you have been given the privilege to document this your focus is not distracted in spite of the fact that even if we were to stop here you would still be a champion as an apostle he says after this I looked and because he looked and beheld a door was opened in heaven where was he before so even in heaven there is still room for more you would think because he was already there that meant all he saw was all there was to be seen he says I looked and the first voice which I heard was as a voice of the trumpet talking with me and he said this in honor to my passion in honor to my hunger in honor to my press he says I see a desire in you to last I see a desire in you to remain I have studied the way you do ministry and I see that you intend to remain even after 30 years you intend to remain in business you intend to be a leader in your field therefore come up here it's a call come up here there are things I will show you but the requirement is that I must probe your hunger I must probe your thirst I must probe your passion can I tell you God is glorious God is loving but he's not foolish he draws men according to his perception of their hunger their passion for him you would think just because he loved you and died for you he will give you everything grant you access to any realm no not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are dimensions that are rewards and for you to qualify their God studies hunger hunger is a powerful component in the believers work hunger is proof of health when people become sick the first thing they lose is appetite Medical practitioners are here and they use appetite, the lack of it sometimes to confirm that this man is sick truly. Because all men who are well should be hungry and should be thirsty. Hallelujah. Are we together? So come up hither is a journey into higher realms of authority and power. Come up here, that is not just a statement, it's an initiation. God is calling you to tell you there are higher realms of power, there are higher realms of authority, and that he wants to bring you into, but you have to see, there must be that desire. My God, Moses never knew that the rod he was holding could become the rod of God one day, that that rod could part the Red Sea. Had he tried it at that point, that version of him could not perform that miracle. Only God knows what else your hands can do. Only God knows what else your mind can do. Only God knows what else your organization can do. But that version of you, that version of consciousness and understanding 
cannot go that far. So he said, come up hither. Come up hither. Come up hither. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your Spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. Did you hear what I was singing now? It may be a special number for you, but I'm not a musician. I'm pounding something into your spirit, man. By your spirit, I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name, I come alive. To declare your victory, the resurrected King is resurrected. Ah, rejoice not over me, my enemy. Time may have gone, but I'm in the presence of the resurrection and the life. Is someone ready to pray? Please rise up on your feet. By your spirit, I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. One more time. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrected. We're about to pray. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, the Bible says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus. The Bible calls him the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy, here it is, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross and despised the shame. Someone open your mouth and begin to pray. The grace to look and to keep looking looking beyond success looking beyond failures you may be a champion but still look it is only those who look that leave it is only those who look that leave i like you to pray let it be from the depth of your heart every distraction every impediment to my rising in the spirit i come against it in the name of jesus complacency that has come as a result of my achievements, ministerial achievements, financial achievements, career achievements, family achievements, in the name of Jesus. After this, I still look. After this, I still look. After this, I still look. I look in prayer. I look in fasting. I look in the word. I look through consecration. After this, I look. Someone pray. In spite of the healing anointing, I still pray. I still fast. In spite of the commendations, I will still strive to know Him more, to love Him more, to live for Him. Hallelujah. We're wrapping up. After these things, I looked. After these crowns, after these challenges for someone, it doesn't matter what the this is, good or bad. If you have looked at it for a while, take your eyes away from it. Come up here that starts with looking hither, there is a higher realm 
I've operated the prophetic, but there is a higher realm. I've operated the apostolic office, but there is a higher realm. God has blessed me financially, but there is a higher realm. God has helped my children, but there is a higher realm. Someone who desires more, cry the last prayer for this morning. More, more, more. More, more fire, more grace. Someone pray. Greater appetite for spiritual things. Loving him more than my necessary food. Go ahead and pray. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. The more I see you, the more I want to see you, Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. Helper, more of you. Redeemer, more of you. Savior, more of you. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let me remind you again before we begin to pray. You are as wealthy as the men who open their hands towards you. Either they open their hands to transact with you. When you call someone a contractor, who is a contractor? A contractor is not just one who builds roads or supplies. A contractor is one who needs favor with men first. Your tractor will remain there until men give you access. Am I right on that? So Satan has suggested various ways of attracting men. Bribery, corruption, going to the harbor list, all of these are unnecessary. God's superior ways to stay with him and he will grant you wisdom. The wisdom will direct you on what to do. The wisdom will direct you on how to relate with those men well. I've taught you relationships. You can be in the place of prayer with God and God can tell you, buy a pack of wine, go and greet this man. That is the wisdom for your next level. It may not be applicable to everybody, but it came in the place of prayer. Just when you are going to greet the man, that's when your destiny helper just came to see the man too. And they'll say, aha, this is the man that I told you. This man can build. And the man will look at you and say, I don't know what is... Can you take a contract of 10 billion? Will you be able to do it? Take 5 billion to mobilize you first. And someone will see you and say, no, this guy must have gone somewhere. The person is right. You went somewhere, truly. Listen, let me challenge all business people and contractors here. Trust me, if you are part of this vision, I'm showing you how to be wealthy. Leave all those contract papers in one minute and take a day or two. Stop chasing around people. People insult you, you still say, yes, sir. No, go with God. Place something upon my head, oh God. Place something upon my business. Place something upon my construction company. Bring honor to my becoming. Let me not become as a slave and owe everybody thank you. Someone sees you tomorrow, even in your height, he still wants to kick you like a football and says, I made you, oh. Uh -uh. Abraham said, let it not be that anyone will say, I made Abraham rich. All blessings come from God but through men. Don't allow any man tell you he's the one who made you. That's absolute nonsense. But that is the consequence of making men become God. Men are in the success equation. But it starts with God. The formula is in the beginning. God. Is someone ready to pray in the spirit? Go ahead and pray in the spirit for one minute. Before I speak, I release these prophetic words over your Ah, don't waste this dream. Don't waste this dream. 
it has come as a prophetic guide for us seasons of abundance a season of abundance by the power of the Holy Spirit abundance of grace abundance of resources riches and wealth empowerment and supplies for the sake of the kingdom for the sake of God's program for the sake of your dignity someone pray take a minute to pray God is not a man that he should lie God is not the son of man that he should repent had he said it shall he not make it good go ahead and pray of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous it's not Pentecostal gibberish it's a sign in the spirit that God is bringing joy joy I'm saying it again you see, this is a ministry of signs and wonders. You can't fake this. These people are real human beings. They are not animals. You see, this is not trial and error. If it is not there, it's not there. It's as simple as that. By these signs, there's a reason why there are two. Because in the mouth of two or three, a matter is established. It's a prophetic word for you. That for those who have cried, for those who have been asking, Lord, how long will I see your faithfulness? God is saying, I should tell you. This is a prophetic word for you. Joy comes for you now. I want you to receive it. Joy comes for you now. Yes, please. Go ahead. So, Apostle, I said, I was saying, I, I started feeling the pain. After, afterwards, I started feeling the pains. And um, when I came to service, it just, when you said we should put our hands, I put my hand It's there, gone now. And it's gone completely. In the no name of Jesus there. Christ, that pain leaves perfection and wholeness in your body. In the matchless name of Jesus. Next person, very quickly. She had a strain in her ankle four days ago that she has been limping. Even when she came to service, she was limping. But as the prophetic prayer was going on, she placed her hand there and then she's no longer in limping. In Healed the name by of the Jesus. power of God. Amen. I want to pray for a lady. I just saw a vision. You are all ladies in your family. All. There are no men. You are all ladies in your family. And at where is that person? Um, there's something I want to break very quickly now. Very, very quickly. Please just allow me one minute. Let me see. You are all ladies. Please, we know your family members. If you come out here and you are not all ladies, let's be disciplined before God. Right? I know everybody wants to receive, but listen to the instruction first, please. All ladies, come. The Lord is giving me a word. There's something I want to break very quickly.
You are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Come quickly. You are worthy of it all. When God gives a prophetic word like this, when I start praying, please, you have to stay where you are so you don't distract us. We're going to pray so that some of you may not know why. There's nothing wrong in being all ladies. I hope you understand the point now. It's just a word that God has given me. It's only God that knows what he's delivering you from. Huh? It doesn't mean that if you are all ladies, that's, some of you, God wants to open doors that have tied down ladies in that family. Huh? There are some of you, you've never been able to rise. I want to break something things now. Lift your right hand if you can. Father, you gave me a word for these ladies right now. I'm going to pray for you. And for some of you, the power of God is going to come on you. You will be, you will be surprised at the kinds of testimonies that you will start giving. Father, I stretch my hands. You gave this prophetic word. Every family here that has been under the embargo of darkness, Arresting ladies, not allowing their doors to open, whether maritally, financially, in terms of fruitfulness. At the count of three, let there be a baptism of deliverance. One, two, three, be delivered now. Be delivered now. I curse those spirits now. I release those families. Ancestral curses, yokes, covenants vows be delivered now the spirit of death be delivered now begging and borrowing be delivered now women returning back to their parents homes I curse that spirit now for all of you who have come out I pray for you your loved ones may not be here but you are standing in for their sake. Whatever will destroy the testimony of your family, we come against it now. Anti-marital spells, we come against it now. Anti-career spells, we come against it now. Covenants, charms, yokes, all kinds of ancestral manipulations, be free now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Please return to your seats rejoicing. Carefully, carefully, don't march on one another. If someone is under the anointing, just, just move carefully. Let's celebrate them as they go. 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 This is the moment where we pray for our requests. For those of you who are coming here for the first time, this is a very important session. Um, we've stretched the time, my apologies. But it is very important because, number one, we're ministry of prayer. We believe in the ministry of prayer. We have a prayer answering God, not just a prayer hearing God. He hears and he answers. Hallelujah. And there are many ways that you know God has answered. Number one, is by faith putting your confidence in his word number two god answers because you will see physical evidences like the woman with the issue of blood the bible says she felt within herself that the blood her fountain had dried number three one of the ways you know you have received is by joy and peace the presence of joy and peace is proof for you that god has answered you hallelujah and so when we pray this way 
even if we prophesy we see impact and because we're limited um, most miracle services are as long as vigils so that you are able to deal with the issues and the matters of men's lives but we cannot do that the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet and um, but then this for me I love to pray on the requests because it is the most accurate representation of your desires not only is it personal known to God alone nobody gets to read once this is done we go and burn it and then it is done but because this is the most accurate representation of your desires and the clearest expression of your faith hallelujah so I want us to believe with God and believe with me as we pray I'm not going to ask you to stand this time around I'll ask you to sit only that you will stretch your hands as an act of faith please stretch it towards me and begin to make prophetic declarations I'm going to be on my knees for a minute and lay my hands on all of these requests and I want you to just agree with me as you receive by faith that all that I've dropped here in the name of Jesus Christ they come as a harvest of answers for me if we still have any requests please let me have them go ahead pray let it be from the depth of your heart just for a minute we're declaring over this request in the name of Jesus Christ Lord are you praying step in do the impossible do the impossible Lord step in do the impossible do the impossible Father, we declare that you will do the impossible. You are praying. Let there be a release of financial miracles, marital miracles, healing miracles, career miracles, restorations, change of stories. Sabra di barato, salegre feneke paratos, cabrende gelesh. Rakata barata barato sabra de meleke barato siata Shale sarenta ruka barako shkala grest Prada barando sobres Embratushka lebratushka brede balaj Go ahead and declare For my loved ones Miracles Shabarande geberego salagast Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ agree with me as I pray every request here I decree and declare it returns to you as a testimony every challenging situation here represented may it find the help and the mercy of God financial mountains fall like Dagon before the ark every situation of concern we bring it before the Lord, the one who answers prayer. May you receive visitations. Shout Amen. amen. May you receive interventions amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. For some of you, your testimony begins tonight amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. For some of you, by next week Sunday, you will, you will come back with all your requests answered. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me speak over your life. We're wrapping up. Let our king be lifted up. Let your name be lifted up. Let your praise be lifted up. Oh, oh May my God prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies. May my God anoint your head with oil. May your cup overflow. Lack and want is far from you. I say it again to a believer, lack and want is far from you. This grace that is called favor, let it rest upon your life. Let it rest on your business. Rest on your ministry. I cause prayerlessness from your life. I cause prayerlessness from your life. Everything that has eroded your passion for the study of the word, I declare let that force live your life forever. Fresh grace for the word. Fresh grace for the house of God. In the name of Jesus. Every wrong company around your life deceiving you, misleading you, I separate you from them forever. Shame and reproach is far from your life. Dishonor is far from your life. Regret is far from your life. In the name of Jesus, find speed in your destiny. Find speed in your destiny. I declare restoration of everything lost. May God amplify your voice. Amplify your gift. Open the book of remembrance on your case. Bring to your life great men. Connect you with strategic kingdom opportunities. You will love the Lord all the days of your life. Death is far from you. Failure is far from you. I call you a sign and a wonder. I say it again. I call you a sign and a wonder. Manifest as a sign and a wonder. Go and be a deliverer. In the name of Jesus. For your sake, may God lift your family. I promise to pray a prayer. As a family of faith, a responsible one at that, we pray for our nation, Nigeria. We pray for the entire continent of Africa, but we pray particularly for our nation, Nigeria. We pray for the military, the Navy, the Air Force, the police, all of the paramilitary, we decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, they are empowered to keep and maintain peace in this nation. Beyond their professional abilities, let grace speak in their lives. We decree and declare that our military personnel will not lose their lives in battle. I pray that they are empowered to bring the causes of mayhem to justice in this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare all your loved ones who are involved in the military, air force, police, they are preserved in Jesus name. This nation will keep going from glory to glory. This week, experience grace. Experience favor. In Jesus' name I pray. Wave your hands to Jesus. Amen. 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 fast you need to make it right with Jesus before you leave for your home tonight for your sake we're stretching for a minute or two more from our time because we want you to make it right with Jesus you came to this place tonight whether you are inside or outside please all stand we're wrapping up already and you are yet to make a genuine decision for Jesus we have just a minute for you 
or you are here and you want to rededicate your heart, your life, as far as your work with God is concerned, I will count one to five. Let me request that you leave your seat. If you're coming from outside, you will need to rush to come stand before me here. I count one to five. And for all those who desire to come, please pick your bags, your Bibles, and everything you came to church with and make your way boldly as we clap for you. Let's begin our counting now. One. Please appreciate them as they come. Two. Koinonia is the best. Three, come to Jesus. Young and old, male and female, come to Jesus. Four, it pays to make it right with Jesus. You don't have to kneel, my dear. Please stand. Please stand and keep standing. If they insist, then let them be. But let them stand so we can have some more space. The final count now, five. Let's clap for them as they come. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. I want to salute all of you for this courageous decision. For those who are not here, you may do well to just connect online or connect um, facing your LED screen so that we'll save time. I want to thank all of you for making this noble decision. It is a very noble decision to surrender your all and your everything to the Lordship of Jesus. May I request that you lift your right hand. Say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Lord, my Savior, and my King. I declare that the power of sin Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. I declare you preserved by the blood. Based on the authority of God's word, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. From tonight, the power to live a victorious Christian life is released upon you. You go from glory to glory and from grace to grace. Amen and amen. Please do me a favor of moving to my right. You see the counselors waving the placard. They will have a word with you very quickly for a minute or two and you are back to your seat. Let's honor them as you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have you been blessed tonight? Let's give Jesus one last round of applause. Give him a big, big hand clap in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.